Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. And a very good day. My name is Nurah Nene binti Abdul Rahman. I'm from uh, UITM Shalam, Faculty of Music. And today I will be presenting to you my work in progress uh, for my paper with a working title, Adapting to Digital Culture, a Case Study of the Malaysian Music Industry Practices. Before that, I would like to share my slide. I hope everyone can see my slide now. Okay, this is the title for my uh, paper, Adapting to Digital Culture, a Case Study of the Malaysian Music Industry Practices. So this is going to be the outline of the presentation for today about the research, the background of the research, the issue and the problem statements for the paper, the aims and methods, the questions used, the methodological approach, the arguments and claims, the facts of analysis findings, and the conclusions. First, we go about the research. Ladies and gentlemen, digitization by definition is a process in which the shift of data from analog format to a digital form. In the case of music, it is the transformations from the cassette to MP3 to the latest version of music streaming. These technological innovations have always influenced and affected the ways in which music is made and consumed in societies, thus change the music business activities. Consequently, these changes have resulted into a decline of recorded music sales. Previous studies from Wickstrom, Mulligan, Morrow and Rogers have shown that the digital evolution is a global phenomenon issue across the globe, and digitization brings disruptive effects to the whole wide world. One of the most significant challenges by digitization is that it has led to many disputes in the music industry, especially the record companies, such as music piracy and rapidly declining economy since the emergence of the internet. As Malaysia began its internet services in 1987 with MIMOS, Malaysian Institutes of Microelectronic Systems, as the sole provider to provide critical infrastructure for the environments of the local electronics industry. The first internet service in Malaysia connects all the universities in Malaysia to communicate with each other in academic related only. Later, after the Multimedia Super Corridor, MSC Malaysia was then established in 1996 with the aspirations of becoming a global hub for ICT and multimedia innovations, operations and services. When digitization took place in Malaysia during the early 2000s, the introduction to the reality television concept revived public interest in music entertainment in Malaysia. This excited the public because they were involved in the making of a celebrity and could choose who they wanted instead of relying on record companies only for the productions and distribution. Comparing from the past decades, the pay TVs and the internet have affected the musical taste of the young listeners that prefers foreign music. In the late 2000s, an assigned Malaysian artist who rose to fame on YouTube and indie musical bands changed the Malaysian music scene. YouTube has changed the Malaysian musical landscape in the 2010s. Instead of SMS votes, music lovers gave birth to YouTube stars by the number of views that cross over into the mainstream. Also, the YouTube has helped expose unknown foreign music genres such as J-pop and K-pop to the Malaysian audience. So the issues and the problem statements of this paper will be Digitization is a universal phenomenon issue that brings the disruptives to the whole wide world and gives impact to the music industry, especially the recorded music business practices. So the aims and methods, what is the purpose of having this research? First, to discover how the local independent record companies in Malaysia adapted to digital disruption through their experiences and perspectives in music business activity in the digital environment. As we know that digitization of music files reaches like reaches the rest of the world at the end of the 1990s or early 2000s, and it had a very disruptive effect. So my study is to study that 
distinctiveness which we have in Malaysia, a fascinating country with its diverse society with unified multicultural community. My study will take into consideration of what happens when established business model is severely disrupted by new business and cultural practices afforded by new technological means of communications and commerce in a specific cultural and musical perspective in the Malaysian context. Therefore, this research attempts to discover how the local independent record companies in Malaysia adapted to digital disruption through their experiences and perspectives in music business activity in the digital environment. The aims will be accomplished by fulfilling several objectives in which it will discuss the distinctions of the involvements of the local record companies in Malaysia and the distinctiveness of digitization's effect and impact in Malaysia. So this involves the explorations of the Malaysian character of digitization and recording industry from the Malaysian perspectives. Also, it consists for motivations to examine ways of the local record companies interpret and make sense of their experiences in music business society in the digital environment, in which tells about the nuance of the cultural context and the adaptations to digital instructions. Furthermore, this research will focus on several key themes and issues highlighted from the interview data analysis, as in how the social, cultural, economic, and political forces shape the current digital transitions, and to assess how the Malaysian music industry affects and are being affected by these transitions. Next will be the questions for the studies. How do I explore the research questions? So the research question will be explored by a set of research objectives, which help to support the purpose and aims of the research to formulate an argument. So the team that emerged from the literature has contributed greatly to the structuring of the research questions and the overall of the thesis. So this question will be explored by the set of the research objectives. The first will be to what extent that the digital is making a general differences and changes in music business practices in Malaysian music industry, especially for the local independent record companies. Number two, what are the ways in which the local independent record companies in Malaysia interpret and make sense of their experiences in music business activity in the digital environment and also about how cultural context nuance the adaptation to digital disruption? Number three will be how can the Malaysian character of digitization and the recording industry as well as its digital music economy more widely learn from the Malaysian perspectives and experience? And number four, what can the research community learn about the impact of digitization on music industry from the Malaysian experience? So the obvious issue faced by the music industry is it caused the decline of the physical sales and consequently it formulates a new business model and a new way of generating incomes. Due to the scans of academic research in this field, it does motivate me to conduct this study by answering the questions that I mentioned above. And moreover, the theoretical framework and ex cite existing literature helps to validate my findings and arguments, which I believe that this is new sets of ideas Informations and knowledge will be able to educate the music society and the argument that I have made will be able to fit into the current literature as a novelty of academic resources. Thank you.